All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Man, it seems like every day we're getting some Mortal Kombat 1 stuff, whether it's, uh, you know, just me talking about the game with my gameplay that I got from Evo, or it's story mode details, breakdowns, hopefully a combat cast this week. There's been no announcement so far, so I'm worried that they're not going to have a combat cast. It might be reserved for next week before the beta. I'm not sure. I really hope we get a combat cast this week because I've been looking forward to it for the last two weeks. Uh, but anyway, leave a like on the video because we're only nine days away from getting our hands on Mortal Kombat 1 and playing the open beta for PlayStation 5 and Xbox. I can't wait. All right. We got the story mode details for Ashra and our boy Reptile. Let's do this. Repent, uh, repentant Netherrealm Demon. As a demon, all Ashra knew was pain and violence. Damn, I feel bad for her. She assumed all beings in all realms lived as she did, but when she journeyed outside of the Netherrealm, she realized her error. Other realms were places of beauty and peace. Surprisingly, like our world, it's a place of beauty, as far as we know. She could not aid the defilements. I have not yet begun to defile myself. Ashra fled from her sister's demon, or from her sister demons. Along the way, she found an enchanted Chris. It was a demon slayer, which she used to finish her per, uh, pursuers probably her sisters, her sister demons. She was stunned to discover that using the Chris to destroy evil was purifying her soul and that if she continued to do so, she could free herself from another realm. Ashra senses that her final absolution is near. Once achieved, she will finally enter the light. Oh, man. So Ashra is a recovered demon. She has seen the light, and I, I'll be honest, that, that last part seems like she's going to be not only a very important part of the story mode, but she's going to be one of the main characters in the story mode because she might end up sacrificing herself for the good of saving Liu Kang's timeline. That's what it seems like to me. It seems like she's going to sacrifice herself and she's going to go into the light once she has um, purified her soul completely and she's happy. It seems like she's going to sacrifice herself. So we already know that she's going to have a chapter in the story mode because the the newest trailer, the banished trailer, she actually goes into a fight with Havoc where she's the one that's doing the talking to Havoc, which normally leads to a fight, a story mode fight. So... Ashra is going to have her own chapter in the story mode. I'm really looking forward to it because um, I like her story. I like the fact that she's, uh, you know, started off as a demon. And as she saw that other places were not like the place where she was at and she was used to, uh, she saw the light and changed her ways. And along the way, she found this badass sword right here. So Ashra looking good, sounding good. I'm looking forward to playing her in the story mode. Let me know what you guys think of Ashra's uh, story bio. Now let's go back to our boy Reptilio, Sysoth. All right. Zeteran Slave. By the way, come on, guys. Look at this ninja. Look at this ninja costume. Human Reptile is back, and I couldn't be any happier. And yeah, I know, obviously, he shapeshifts into his reptilian form, but, I mean, even that looks, it's grown on me. You guys know, during the, the trailer, I reacted to it. I was like, eh, I don't really like it that much. But it's actually grown on me, more so because it's uh, it's a, in combination with his gameplay. I really like the fact that he switches between human and his reptile form, like, during his gameplay. that That's what really has, has gotten to me and has made me love it even more. All right. Uh, Zetaran slave. Reptile is Zetaran. One of the uh, reptil reptiloids. <laughs> I have a hard time pronouncing some words. 
let's just say reptilios, all right, which live on Outworld's fringes. Like other reptiles, Zaterans can camouflage themselves, but Reptile possesses a unique mutation, one which allows them to shift shape to appear human, as he mentions in the trailer. Bullied mercilessly by Zaterans for his ability, Reptile left home to make his future elsewhere. Aw, man, our boy Reptile was bullied mercilessly, um, probably because he's the best-looking Zaterran, right? We could all agree that Reptile is uh, is good looking. So every other uh, Zaterran was just pissed off that Reptile has a human form that has green eyes. You know that green eyes is the rarest eyes that you a human can have, right? I think only 10% of the population have green eyes. So, I mean, I'm jealous. Reptile, I'm jealous of your green eyes, okay? But I, that doesn't mean I'm going to bully you. So all the other... The Terrans were just pissed off that Reptile is hot. That's that's pretty much it. But, man, I got to say, I just, I just can't get over the fact that we have human Reptile back. Like, human, human, human. He doesn't have his scaly skin, which I would have been completely fine with, honestly. If they would have just made a ninja Reptile with scaly skin and just be the Terran underneath, but have a ninja costume, I would have been fine with that. But we literally have human reptile back and he's probably the best looking ninja out of uh everyone <laughs> which is funny enough because it's still reptile so it's funny that he ended up being the best looking ninja out of everyone i'm just talking about looks face wise um so that's hilarious to me and that's hilarious to a lot of people but he's here he looks amazing and i'm happy that he's back so that is the story mode uh, details for Reptile and Ashra. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of not only the story mode details for our boy Reptile and Ashra, but also their designs. Some people had Ashra um, saying that she th they didn't really like her design, mostly because she didn't have her iconic hat. Um, but in our breakdown of the trailer we actually see her wearing a hat so we know that she will have a hat so now that it's confirmed that she will have a hat depending on gear pieces if there's gear or like different costumes or what's going to happen with that do you prefer that or do you like the fact that she just doesn't have a hat i like the, her demon eyes i really like her demon eyes a lot um she you know has a good mixture of her uh demon self and her new reborn self uh, turning into a good guy, but I mean, I don't need to talk about reptiles design. You already know that I think this is probably the best looking reptile design of all time. As far as his human form, I love UMK3 the most, I think, because I have a soft spot for just the way those costumes are designed. I think UMK3 reptile, UMK3 smoke, UMK3 um, ermac, like, just that costume, the UMK3 costume, is my favorite ninja costumes of all time. So, that's just, like, a special place in my heart. But visually and actual design-wise, this reptile costume is probably the best of all time. Because he's human, he looks like a badass ninja, and there's a lot of details to it. Uh, it looks like he has a lot of keys there, probably to his dungeon. I don't know what that place is going to be called, but I hope it's a stage. Because it kind of looks like... Um, it looks like the flesh pits, so it would be cool to have a stage that looks like that. Um, I just hope it's a little bit better than it was in the trailer, but I don't think it's going to be a stage, to be honest, but every other stage in the game looks amazing, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the designs. I think they look amazing. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next time.